Uh, today we're going to do a quick uh, data transfer test for this 480 gigabyte uh, SATA solid state hard drive. Uh, kind of an inexpensive non-name brand unit, but uh, let me hide this. I uh, have quite a lot of videos now from doing reviews, and I'm not quite in danger of running out of space on my primary hard drive yet, but I foresee uh, needing to be able to offload some videos as I've been working through. I've got a hundred gigabytes worth right now of just, just videos, just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff, and to uh, relieve a little pressure on my primary drive. This computer, uh, this laptop supports a second hard drive, so that's where I've installed this unit. Um, it is described as a 480 gigabyte and it formats to 447 of usable space. And so I'm just going to create a folder here. Hold finish videos to store these and I'm going to take the this is on my C drive so I'm just going to cut that from the C drive and put it here on this drive and let's see how fast it goes and go Pretty quick initial speed was over a gigabyte per second, which is beyond the rated speed of the drive, so it has a good burst speed. I want to say the rated speed was somewhere in the four to 500 megabytes per second range, and that's about where we're holding so far. 100 gigabytes of video is a pretty good amount of data. We're, well, we're... Sometimes we dip a little below 400, and sometimes we've popped a little above 500, too. We'll see if it can sustain this speed. Uh, even with a uh, Samsung high-end or, you know, middle, middle to high-end drive, uh, which is what my C drive is, an NVMe M.2 drive, after a certain amount of data transfer, it seems to fatigue and drop off the speed a little. So that could happen here with this drive as well, but so far we're doing, doing just fine at right around that, not quite half a gigabyte per second, essentially uh, 400 some with a little dip and a little blip here and there. It is holding steady, which is nice to see. That's a pretty good consistent write speed. The first 50 gigabytes are in. the performance here. Disk 1 is of course maxed out. We're only reading from the C drive so that's not quite as taxing of a uh, process to read data as it is to write data. Still seeing a very nice consistent speed. At some point here, I would expect the drive to kind of get warm, but we might make it through this 100 gigabytes without fatiguing it. Seventeen gig to go.
There are some spots where it shows up as a 960 gigabyte hard drive as like part of the device name or something, which is definitely not correct, but it's just a little bit formatted. It's only a little bit under the uh, 480 rated amount. Oh, we're almost there, and we haven't really had a significant speed drop. That's pretty impressive. Now, you know, it's not the fastest drive in the world, but that is about as big a file transfer as I am ever likely to do. Um, it can certainly read at least as fast as it can write, if not a little bit faster, if that gives you... A rough idea there so um, surprisingly really good result for the uh, overall for that drive uh, it kept up the pace all the way through a 100 gigabyte transfer and that is uh, fairly impressive all things considered for the for the value that this device is and they're only at they're being fairly humble with this up to 500 we actually had a little bit higher burst rate out of the gate so uh, that drive wrote pretty quick and if it writes that fast you know it will read at least that fast if not faster so I would say that is a good result freed up some space on my local drive no doubt Gives a little bit of relief there, so that helps, and I'd say that is, uh, unless you need more than half a gigabyte per second on average, that's a good drive to go with.